previously on Mass Effect 3. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war! Shepard... I don't know what to say. You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a Spectre, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but... I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Grab your gear and find a bunk, Williams. Aye, aye, Captain. And Ash. Yeah? It's good to have you back. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but... I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Goddamn Cerberus bastards. And Udina too. Son of a bitch. That's crap. Udina made a deal with the devil. He got what he deserved. Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Commander, I've found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. I was visiting my family at home. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. Thanks for your time, Commander. Commander?
and GX-12 thermal pipe arrived. We're performing the modifications right now. So, how did I get volunteered to crawl through the ducts? You're the power control engineer, not me. Damn Horton here. Hey, didn't Adam say that all the Normandy is ED? Kenneth, stop right there. Just didn't I tell Joker. He'll get jealous. Kenneth is still installing the thermal conduit down in the crawl space. We'll have a report later. We're still working on the thermal modifications. Should be done pretty soon. We're still working on the thermal modifications. Should be done pretty soon. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, her death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others would be tolerated. I would like to visit the Citadel sometime when it is not infested with traitors. I've heard about the Kyleng human you encountered. It is good to have a name for the enemy I will enjoy killing most. Yes? Cerberus repelled by CSEC. Alliance Marines explain the Council Fleet's delayed response. We speak with the brave men and women who fought the good fight in the battle space. Commander, I've got some questions about the coup, but I'm online with my producer right now. Can we set up an interview in your cabin? Call me up when you're ready for that interview, Commander. Dr. Chakwas sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Commander? Cerberus is gonna have a hard time recruiting now. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats. I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And also that Ash aced the don't shoot your commander portion of the Normandy reinstatement test. Go easy on Ash. She's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer. Nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. Commander. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachanka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachanka was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. 
But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. <laughs> Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Are you and Ashley okay? The last time she saw that body, it wasn't exactly pleasant. I have informed her of the situation. She is taking it well. Good. Hello, Shepard. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? If they hadn't backed down, yes. This war is bigger than any one person. I'll be sure to remember that next time we have a disagreement. Still. I'm glad Ash didn't have to join Caden. Losing one was enough. Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. Good to see you. Good to see you. May I speak with you, Commander? Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant. And these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Speak to Tactus. You should be able to find him near the docks. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. Ready for the next mission?
thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. I can't believe Udina. Great example to the other races, huh? That last mission on Novaria shows why I love the Cody Act. What you did was drop them off and bugger out. How are you proud of that? I seem to remember being shot at the whole time, and everyone coming back in one piece, Mr. Vega. Yeah, the next time park it and come join the party, Esteban. Doesn't hurt to go over the weapon roster one more time. Ma'am. Hey, Commander. I knew Udina was a dirty bastard, but I never would have guessed he was that rotten. This whole war is loco. I mean, can't they all see how we need to work together? When people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but... Ah, oh, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot-first, ask-questions-later policy when it comes to politicians. Fair enough. Hey. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Oh, an actual shower. The faucets in the women's bathroom are crap, by the way. In any event, I thought you might be in the mood to play. Chess? I bought a board on the Citadel. GUI interface, not nearly as much fun as real pieces. But I hoped you might give me some pointers. That's funny. I figured you'd be more interested in a shower. I didn't realize that was an option. It's an option. Well, just give me a moment to grab my things. Ah, uh, hot water and room to stretch. I could get lost in here. Mm. Oh, it's like a week's worth of stress is washing off. And the timing's perfect. I was hoping to look nice for somebody. Hot date lined up? Hopefully more than just that. I play for keeps. Sounds serious. That depends on whether she's interested. Well, good luck. Holler if you need anything. Oh! Will do! Thanks again, Shepard. No problem. Take as long as you like. And don't think this saves you from our chess match. <laughs> Just give me a minute to dry my hair. Ha! Oh, come on! <laughs> my word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line like the Krogan can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep her in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. 
Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough.
Dig up any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. So the Asari throw us at the problem? What's the plan? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. An unremarkable world located far from regularly traveled trade routes, Lessus is inhabited only by a small Asari colony. The main feature is a monastery that houses a large population of Asari with active or latent Ardat Yakshi genes, a disorder that causes the death of anyone who mates with the afflicted Asari. Although some of the colonists exiled themselves voluntarily, many were sent to Lessus by their families to protect society from their deadly potential. The monastery emphasizes individual sacrifice for the good of the community. Latent Ardat Yakshi, as well as active sufferers who show that they can control their condition, may be offered a chance to reintegrate into Asari society after spending sufficient time on Lessus. Active Ardat Yakshi, whose psychological profiles show capacity for neither empathy nor re-education, are confined to the monastery for life. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. that stay sharp this was the commando's captain it seems they gave their lives fighting the reapers this monastery's out of the way what do the reapers want with Ardat Yakshi Anything useful? A map, showing the nav point location of a bomb. Some room called the Great Hall. So the commandos started the purge after all. Ardat Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb.
heard something. Oh, that was me. Sorry. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara? It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here, and I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Valer and Rila have followed the Monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. Not sure how I feel about doing the Asari's dirty work. We need them on our side. Well, Asari Command owes us big time for this. Agreed.
talented Asari often found leading a Reaper strike force. The Reapers create them specifically from Asari with active or latent predispositions to becoming Ardok Yakshi, a rare neurological condition that enhances the Asari's biotic power while causing the immediate death of anyone she mates with. Lumbering as though in constant pain, the emaciated Banshees are surprisingly durable opponents. They are devastating biotics, able to hurl lethal balls of energy and create shock waves as they regenerate. What Alliance military finds most disturbing is the Banshee's ability to spawn her own warp field and seemingly teleport during combat. And though their whales have no apparent physiological effect, the psychological impact is undeniable. When Banshees die, their Ardot Yakshi genetics twist against them causing a biotic implosion to ensure they evade capture. That used to be a person. An Asari. What have the Reapers done? As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have. Mother! Been... They have Rila! What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? But didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaire. You sound like the Commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaire? I'm sorry. Falaire! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came.
Another commando got overrun? This place must have been chaos. Or they panicked. Asari commandos have decades of experience. They don't panic. Doesn't matter how long you've been fighting. You never know what'll break your unit. There's the bomb. And Falaire. Rila. Rila, wake up! Falaire. Rila cannot hear us. Look! She's still alive! I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be! She just needs to wake up! Rila? Rila, can you hear me? They've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Later. Let's get back to that bomb.
Filaire, go! Take the elevator! Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go! Move! No! Rila! I love you. Rila! It wasn't even time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so much... Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Valer rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Valer, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the Monastery, who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. 
Farewell.